Okay, hello, hello, hello. What's up, family? It's Chris, and you're watching Bad Eyesight TV. Um, what would I have? Y'all be forgetting what I got to say. Um, we just gonna do this, do this, do this. Run, R U A N, Grayling said, Can you please react to the most entertaining three minutes of rugby ever? It gives you an idea of how the game works. Clayton replied, yeah, react to this video. It is really entertaining and shows how fast-paced rugby is. So, yep, this is it. Most entertaining three minutes of rugby ever. Uh, I think the video was like four minutes, which is funny because it says the most entertaining three minutes. But, you know, who cares about that? Before we start the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Hit that notification button. Hit that notification bell to get notification when I upload and subscribe to join the family. Now, we're going to get into the video. You'd be a brave man to put a bet on this match head to head right now. Sukawanga gets really good height with the restarts, but it's fallen down for Lilia Masanga. And off he goes. Up the halfway. Well, really opening up now. Messam running hard onto it. Gets the offload superbly away to Anscombe. Kane carries it forward. Usually I thought it was done, but then they picked up the ball and kept going. And I'm like, oh, okay, I see. So the Chiefs responding like the champion team that they are. Clark on to Messam. Latimer now, but now they've lost it, and Brunson Murray. He threw it up. He like, I don't know what to do with it. Um, yeah, game pretty close, 27-28, I see. Oh, I'm quite happy. In fact, I don't think that's been knocked on. And so Ben Smith now. Off he goes, Ben Smith. Flips right the ball pass. away to Gear. Jose Gear, taken by the cover. Great tackle, Masanga. But the Highlanders are running. He was hating because he was gone all the way to the try line and then he just hating. Against it out of shake defense. Burley gets it away to Porky. Again, Nunai Williams struggling to contain him. Now Hardy. The Chiefs have done well here. They've reassembled. I like the ref's outfit. I'll just have to point that out in the video because I can see it, you know their defense but not who has it and that's always a danger sign smith away to sukawanga back come the highlanders so the ref doesn't stop it like if they get tackled you just pick it up and keep it moving or like that's that's what i'm seeing i don't know dixon coleman there to help out Away to Nonu, to Burley, in fact beyond Burley to Pocky. Well, a little pass out the back door, which could have been trouble. He's slamming it. I know why he's slamming it, but I'm just saying, he's slamming that man down like that. But for the good work of Phil Burley, although I might have turned it over here, they have. So the Chiefs get it back. Great defense from the Chiefs to scramble back. Pulu, little show of the ball, and tried to sneak it away to Arkey. advantage. Referee playing it. That's why it's like 80 minutes. Like, does it never end? Like, do they just keep on going? Do they just keep seeing them going back and forth, back and forth? Advantage here, and Anscombe says, let's get out of here. Gear having to go back. Well, moments ago, he was sprinting towards the line. Now he's under pressure from Masunga. Great strength, and he's found Ben Smith. Sprinting down the touchline. Sukawanga gets through the tackle. And then he loses it. Bruh. They keep on getting the ball and getting close to their um try line. Everybody cheering, cheering loud. And then they just get taken down and got to go back the other way. I know that would be so annoying if I was them. I'm like, dang, I was almost there. And then I had to go all the way back. Oh, this is amazing. This is end-to-end -end stuff. And Tiko Rotuma with the kick. Smith's there to clean it up. Now Woodcock. Exhilarating rugby. Barely. Oh, 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 oh
have to miss the bass. I thought he was gone. I don't know who I'm going for. There was a try on there. And now there could be one down the other end for the chase. No. He gone. He gone. Ain't nobody going to catch him. Williams. Unbelievable. I'll be so tired too. I'll be tired to keep running it back and forth. Like you said, it, like you guys were telling us in the beginning that it does take a lot of um, stamina to play this game because obviously, what's it like, six, 60 or 80 minutes, when, which y'all said, and um, just got to keep running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Like you see, he just did this touchdown. Touchdown. He just made this try, and he's just so tired. And it's a bonus point. This must be kind of um new because the quality looks good, and I was able to tell that the player that was on the ground had um some tattoos. It's just absolutely incredible. This is the Ben Smith's break, the second Ben Smith break. He turns it back to Sopoanga. It looked there like he was going to go all the way. However, it's great cover defense from Tolu. From there, the turnover again. The Highlanders go wide. Now, if this had gone to hand and not to land, they were in for all money. But it's a poor pass. Hardy. Yeah, there's a lot of movement going back and forth in this game. I can see why people would get um excited to see it, especially when you understand what's going on. Bills it. Nano Williams with the goose step. We saw him do it in the first half. He skinned Ben Smith there. Whoever he skinned there, you got to feel sorry for him. He must have been out on his feet. Nano Williams, watch him collapse. But what, what a period of rugby, Richard Turner. Oh, very well summed up too, Justin. And if the picture tells a story, the picture of Nano Williams lying. Oh, I thought he was tying his shoe. I guess he was putting the ball down. <laughs> Prone on the ground, post scoring that try, pretty much summed up the 30 players out of the middle. Unbelievable period of play. Oh, they had the little marker to mark off where he had did the um, conversion so he could kick the ball. And for the players to sustain that for so long, absolutely incredible. Substitutions all around, players heading to the sin bin. Yeah, it's a fruit flying here they're so annoying like just the most annoying bugs and they're just like like so tiny but they just be in the they just be so annoying like get out of here ah uh, this blood bin sorry not the sin bin i'm getting excited and enskim strikes another one between the posts toby's <sighs> well I watched the whole video. You guys, you see, I'm trying to watch the whole video of the videos that you guys give me from now on. Doing my best, you know. This was a good this was a good video, like you guys said. It was very entertaining. Um the name was right, the most entertaining three minutes of rugby ever. Yeah, like it was a lot going on in that short amount of time. Like they were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It keep it kept me like on the edge of my seat, like, ooh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen next? What's gonna happen next? Cause the guy took the ball, he passed the ball, and the player missed it. The other player got it. They ran it down. It was just a lot. I bet you if I was wanted cheering for one of the teams, I'd be kind of like, yeah. And then the next minute you're like, oh, I can't believe that happened. Those are good games to watch when stuff like that happens. I guess were these guys like rival teams or something because the score was close. Like, they was, like, going head-to-head. -head. Or was it just all rugby teams are good? And it happens like that because, you know, sometimes in uh, sports that I watch, basketball, football, if you play certain teams, it's like your rival team and they good and they going to compete with you. And other teams, it's like, we got this. We don't got to worry about them. So, it's like that in rugby, too. I bet it is. But if it isn't, let me know in the comment section down below. So, yes, this was a great video. Thank you guys for requesting it. Thank you, Clayton, for adding your two cents. Not in a rude way. Um. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. 
Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Hit that notification bell to get notification when I upload. And subscribe to join the family. Also, link is in the description down below if you want to watch the video by yourself. And so is my social media. See you guys in the next video.